So is it better to pay your credit card monthly or maybe weekly? What about daily? Let's go over the pros and cons of each and how it might fit into your budget. Now I've talked already about how paying the full balance each month is a better thing to do because you do not want to be paying interest to the bank. This is one of my major gripes. I don't want to be paying any of my own money to the bank or financial institute that I got my credit card from or any debt for that matter. I'm kind of anti-debt if you haven't guessed already. I like my money in the stock market where it brings me income. I'm all about that cash flow. But I have no problem with actually having a credit card. I use a credit card all the time. I put all my purchases on it. Some credit cards you can build up points for travel and other rewards. There are benefits to using credit cards, but not if you keep a balance. But how often should you be paying it down? Now, a lot of people say that you should only pay right before it's due, right before that balance is due. Uh, that way you're keeping your own money and you can build interest on that money perhaps before you actually pay it off to the bank. And there's a lot of benefits to that, especially if you get paid monthly, it just makes things easier. But paying it more regularly can be more beneficial too, especially if you're trying to build a better credit score. Now credit score isn't a major concern for most Australians. People are sort of mindful of it, but it's only really important if you're going for a loan, say a home loan or any other sort of personal loan, or if you're trying to move into say a new property, like even renting it can come up and things like applying for gas, electricity, that sort of thing. But generally it's not really on a lot of Aussies mind most of the time. So when they get the bill, they just usually pay the minimum balance or all of it if they're so inclined. And often when debt or credit companies are looking at the credit score, they'll usually only look at it once a month. And perhaps that might be the day before you pay the balance in full. So it looks like you've got a lot on your credit card, even though you're going to pay it off. So paying it more than once a month can be beneficial because it's going to keep your balance lower. Now, I don't think anyone wants to go and pay their credit card daily. That just seems like a lot of work to me, unless you set up some sort of automation, but but even then that sounds kind of overkill. There is a method called the 15-3 that's gaining popularity. That's where you pay 15 days before the balance is due and then three days before it's due. So you're paying twice a month. Now the benefits to this and the benefits of why I pay weekly is that you're constantly bringing down that balance. Now I pay my credit card each week. I do it weekly because I find that just works really well for my routine. So on a Monday, usually I'll go in and I usually just check my budget, make sure my spending is on track, just make sure everything looks okay. Okay. And it's just an easy time for me to go and pay the credit card because I'm usually already in my banking app. And the benefit of this is that it's keeping my balance low. And the other benefit of having a low balance is that it kind of is less stressful. I find that anyway for myself, that when I start accumulating a quite high balance on my credit card, even though I know that I'm going to pay it off at the end of the month, even though I do it weekly, that high balance starts to stress me out a little bit. So keeping the balance low just makes me feel a little bit more at ease. It just helps my mental health just that little bit. And that is a huge benefit that a lot of people don't talk about. Like when it comes to debt and credit cards, making sure that you're doing the right thing for your mental health and not becoming burdened or stressed over money, really way more important than how often that you pay. So if it does stress you out to pay weekly, if that's just too much for you, then do it monthly. But if keeping that big balance is stressing you out a lot, then pay weekly or as often as necessary for yourself. Don't discount how you feel about debt and how you feel about carrying a balance on how often you choose to pay that credit card off. It's not always about getting the best credit score. It's about the quality of your life and the way you feel as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was just a quick chat about how often to pay off your credit card. When it comes down to it, there are benefits, pros and cons to any time frame, as long as you're paying the balance in full, because we do not want to pay any interest to the bank or financial institution. You want to keep all that money to ourselves. We want to build our own equity. We want to get cash flow, not give it away. Anyway, take care and I'll see you in the next video.